What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I'm excited to be here. Heath Powell, a.k.a. The Dominator, going to drop some bombs today, going to give you guys some, some takeaways, some killer closing strategies that you can take away immediately, apply today, and make yourself more money. So I promise if you guys take some notes, I'll make you guys a lot of money. I'm excited to be here. It's a beautiful Wednesday, Miami Beach, live from Grant Cardone Training Technology Studio, and um, ready to help you guys out make some money. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the most important step of the sales process, hands down. Now, they're all important, okay, guys? I'm not saying that none of the other steps are important. You know, you got to do a good greeting, good meet and greet, good walk around, product presentation, fact finding, asking the right questions, um, writing up the deal, demonstration, presentation. But if you guys don't close the deal, okay, and you don't handle his or her objections, then you're not going to get paid. You're not going to make any money, okay? There is no money in selling. There is no money in selling. Contrary to what you've been told in the past, there is no money in selling. 100% of your money is in the close, okay? Now, the sales process is going to represent about 90%, okay? When you're selling, it's going to represent about 90% of your sales process. Now, the close is that little, little bitty piece that's going to represent about 10% of your sales process, but it's the most important, okay? What do you lose when you don't close the deal? Okay, you're going to lose time. You're going to lose money. You're going to lose momentum. You're going to lose confidence. You're going to lose control. Time kills deals. You know, if I got to run back and forth to the manager every time I can't handle an objection or a complaint, I'm going to lose money. Ultimately, the customer loses because the close is not really for you anyway as a sales professional. Okay, the, the close is actually for your customer. Okay, once you actually wrap your head around that and understand it, then your life is going to change. Okay, if you learn how to master the close, you'll never be without money again. If you learn how to master the close, I'll tell you again because it's kind of important. If you guys learn how to master the close, you'll never be without money again. Okay. So sales process, number one, number one most important thing of any sales process, whether it's cars, jewelry, furniture, anything that you're selling. We're talking about cars today, okay, card on, on demand. By the way, we have the number one, number one sales conversion tool on planet Earth by the godfather himself, Mr. Grant Cardone. The reason he created this, guys, is he spent a lifetime, 25, 30 years, actually going inside dealerships, going doing live presentations, seminars, workshops, and did a really good job, did a fantastic job, by the way. That's the reason I found out about Grant, um, changed my life. But what happened was it became a broken model because people would go to these seminars, they learn a lot of valuable information, actually use that information, spike their sales up, but what would happen about 30 to 45 days later is what would happen is they go back to business as usual. So we don't want that to happen. What we want to do is give you consistent daily information, card on on demand. Those of you that's not on the program yet, um, is going to provide everything that you need, you know, from selling, closing, prospecting, following up, um, anything and everything that you need to actually make more money, sell more cars, and have a better life for you and your family, okay? So close, number one step of the sales process, most important. Um, a rule that you need to know, know and understand is the, the objections. 90% of objections are not objections, they're complaints. 90% of objections are not objections, they're merely complaints. So what do I mean by that? I, my, my guy, Matteo, he's an Italian suit maker. He came into the office, measured me for some suits. And after he got done measuring me, he said, hey, man, this suit's going to be about $2,500. I'm like, oh, my God, man, that's a lot of money. Okay? Is that an objection or a complaint? It's a complaint. Okay? Because I bought it anyway. It's no different when you have a customer pull into your dealership. They say, hey, I want to see stock number 19702. You take them on the test drive. You make them fall in love with it. You do everything right in the sales process. You get to the close. You present the figures. Hey, man, it's $120,000 $120, Z06 Corvette. And the guy says, man, dude, that's just a lot of money. Okay, number one rule of selling is always, always, always agree. I'm always going to agree with the buyer. No matter how ridiculous it sounds, I'm always going to agree with the guy. Okay, man, $120,000, that's ridiculous, sir. I'm with you. I totally understand. I agree it's a lot of money, sir. I expect you knew it was a lot of money before you got here. Sign right here, sir. Let's do this. And put a smile on the face, man. You got to smile. You got to smile, guys. You got to make it light. You got to use humor. If you've ever start noticing, man, you get the customer laughing, they start closing, right? So the guy's like, hey, no, nah, man, the payments, are, the payments are way too high. That's just way too much money, sir. I'm with you. I know the payments are high. I knew that before you did, sir. Sign right here. Let's roll. Let's do this. What do you mean you knew the payments were too high before I did? Sir, when my manager gave me the pencil, and said the payments are $1,800 a month with $25,000 down. I'm like, oh, my God, man, that's a lot of money. I knew that before you did, sir. Sign right here. Let's do this. Okay? Sir, congratulations. 
What do you mean congratulations? Sir, congratulations. Not everybody's in the position that you're in to be able to afford a car like this. Sir, $120,000 Corvette Z06. Not everybody's in that position, sir. Congratulate yourself. Congratulations. Sign right here, sir. Let me get your new car cleaned up, gassed up, ready for me to deliver. Okay? Man, did you hear what I said? The payments are too high. Sir, I'm with you. I know they're high, sir. Do it anyway, sir. Sign right here. Let's do this. I think I'm on number six or seven closes right now. If you guys want to call in, look, we're going to answer, post your comments. We're going to answer your questions. Feel free to dial in. Call 305-865-8668. Mm, mm, love that. Call in. Call in, man. I love you guys. Hey, look, the reason I'm actually in front of you delivering this information right now, I just have to tell you a brief short story. Um, the reason I work for Grant Cardone, he changed my life, okay? I was in the car business just like you guys watching this right now. I was doing about eight cars a month, never heard of Grant Cardone. I went to one of his seminars. I was the only salesperson to go in my dealership, by the way. Everybody tried to talk me out of it, and I was pretty stubborn. I was pretty hard-headed. I was in the military, fresh out of the military, okay, night, uh, 21 years old. Went to the seminar, bought all of his products. I called my mom. Hey, mom, I need to borrow two grand. I bought all of his products. Went back to my dealership, okay, and I became salesperson of the month for 28 months in a row. The reason I'm telling you that, guys, there's some, there some people in the dealership right now watching this that all you have to do, you have to make one small change, and that's all about making a decision. Decide and commit that you're going to go inside this program every single day and consume as much information and data that you possibly can. It's about consuming the right information, okay? And all the right information that you need is inside this tool. Available to you 24-7, by the way. Any smartphone, any laptop, desktop, anywhere in the world is cloud-based. Like I said, we have the number one sales conversion tool on the planet. And all the information inside of here, guys, is delivered by the number one sales trainer on planet Earth, Mr. Grant Cardone, godfather of sales and business, okay? So back to, back to where we were at, guys. I've already used six or seven closes. I have a question for and you. And I haven't given up a dime of gross. Absolutely, man. I love to. So, so what's um, a lot of, there's a couple people in here that are, they're new to it. Beautiful. And they want to know, like, what kind of advice could you give them as far as, building up their confidence sure. to say, hey, it's time for the deal, because they don't know how to ask sometimes. Yeah, so, beautiful question. Yeah. Go ahead. So, yeah, if you're new, it doesn't matter if you're new, you've been doing this for 25 years, you've been doing this for 25 minutes. Anyone, anyone can develop any skill if you practice, drill, and rehearse it over and over and over again. We are not born great. It's not in our DNA. It's not in our bone marrow. We have to practice, drill, rehearse, and develop a skill. And the only way to do that, guys, is to drill every single day. Don't wait on your managers. Don't wait on your leaders. Grab a buddy in the dealership or at your company that you're working at that's as committed as you that wants to make success their duty, their obligation, and their responsibility. Partner up with them. Get a buddy, a battle buddy, and practice and drill. Flunk each other. Man, If you look, if you can't get it right, make sure you look. Don't be nice to the guy. If you're not getting it right and you're not saying the word track correctly and you're not up tone and you don't have that confidence, if you're just kind of slurring it out of your mouth, guys, flunk them. It's not, it's not going to work for you. Any other questions? Perfect. No, keep going. Love, Love it. Love that. So look, any, anybody to watching the, the deal right now, I'm not sure if you've ever heard, lost a deal before because the guy says, I need to talk to my wife, okay? Who's heard buyers or liars before? And you can let me know if anybody responds to that. So look, buyers are only, yes. and this is a beautiful thing too, by the way, 90% of objections are not objections or complaints, but also we actually force the customers to lie to us. Buyers are only liars when they force them out of integrity. We back them into a corner and we force them to lie to us. So what do I mean by that? You're in the deal, and, and the customer nice guys you to death. They all nice guy you to death before they try to get away from you. They're like, hey, man, I like you. I like the car, Heath. I love your dealership. I love the price. I love my payments. I love everything. I need to go home and talk to my wife, man, and I promise you I'm going to be back first thing tomorrow morning, and we're going to buy the car. And what happens is you either sell or you be sold. You either close or you lose, okay? There's only one letter that separates the difference between a closer and a looter, loser, and that's the letter C. Letter C is going to stand for can-do attitude. It's going to stand for commitment. It's going to stand for confidence. Okay, the only way to have confidence, like the, the, the guy asked on the, on the question about confidence, the only way to have true confidence 100% of the time is to have a full arsenal of closes. Because if I'm in your dealership, I can promise you right now, guys, I'm going to use 40, 50, 60 closes on somebody before I even think about going to see the manager. I'm not running back and forth to the manager. I know every time I leave that customer, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose gross. I'm going to lose time. I'm going to lose confidence. I'm going to lose momentum. Right? Time kills all deals. The guy's like, man, I got, I, got a, I got a doctor's appointment for my little boy, man, in 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes. I got to take my little boy to the dentist. I got to take him to the doctor. Dude ain't even got a little boy, man. He ain't even got any kids, okay? But he's making excuses. But what happens is when we leave that customer and I run to the manager, 
because I was sold. I was closed by the customer of, hey, I need to go home and talk to my wife. What happens is I run to the manager and I tell him the same story. Now I've got to close him on it. Hey, boss, I know I told you this the last 10 times, man, but this guy's different. He's going to go home. He's going to talk to his wife. He's going to be back first thing tomorrow morning. What happens is you let the guy go home. He pulls in the driveway. He walks inside. He says, hey, baby, what's for dinner? Uh, spaghetti and meatballs, baby. What about the car? Uh, honey, they're smoking crack. The payments are way too high. And that's all they talk about it. And they eat their dinner. Okay? So what happens is you call them the next day, you don't get them. You call them the next day, you don't get them. You finally get them on the phone four weeks later because you treated them and called them from your buddy's cell phone. Right? And then the conversation goes like this. You did, and they already bought a car. So don't make the customers lie to you. Okay? When the customer said, look, because what happens is, Hey, man, let's get her on the phone. Let's go show it to her. Let's put a tag on it. Man, my wife works third shift. She ain't at home right now. She can't have any phone calls. She can't have any visitors. But we're forcing them to lie. So the next time that happens, guys, I'm going to give you some ninja technique right now. So if you're taking notes, write this down, guys. It's some ninja technique. Next time the husband says, I need to talk to my wife, this is what I want you to do. Now, the first time somebody uses this and closes a deal, guys, it's going to feel like magic to you. Because I can still remember the first time I used this technique. Close the deal when the guy says, I need to talk to my wife. Man, it blew me away. So the next time you're in that position and the customer says, Heath, I like you. I like the car. I love the deal. I love the payments. I love everything. I need to go home and talk to my wife. This is what I want you to do. Sir, I want you to agree with them. Hey, no problem, sir. I totally understand. Me and my wife, man, we talk about everything. I'm sure you and your wife talk about everything as well. Yeah, man, we talk about everything. Good, sir. Your wife knows you're here right now. Sign right here. Let's do this. Dude, you don't know my wife, man. If my wife says, no, man, I can't buy the car. Could that happen? Absolutely. So what I'm going to do with it is agree, agree with the guy. I'm going to make him feel certain. I'm going to make him feel comfortable. No problem, sir. I totally understand you need to talk to your wife. Let me ask you, sir, what if your wife says no? Excuse me? Uh, sir, what if your wife says no, you can't have the automobile that you want? I mean, my wife don't ever tell me no. Sir, I love your attitude. You remind me of me, by the way. Sign right here. Let me get your new car cleaned up, gassed up, ready for me to deliver and shut your deal down. Okay, I can tell you guys about, you'll, you'll close three out of ten. Three out of ten by using that technique. Now, let me show you how to close the other seven out of ten. The other seven out of ten, what could they say? Dude, you don't know my wife. If my wife says, no, man, there's no way in the world I could buy this car. Could that happen? Right? So what I'm going to do is, everybody, look, if you're taking notes, write this down. You want to use every single close, every single close that I use. I want to write it down. I want to validate it. It gives it more credibility. What do people believe? What they see or what they hear? See. What they see, right? See. Seeing is believing. So you want to write this down right now, okay? I'm not just going to say it verbally. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flush the objection. There's only one reason he's not going to hook up with me right now, okay? Sir, if your wife did say no, what would she say no to? Would she say no to the monthly payment? You want to write these out? I'm going to abbreviate them today for training. Would your wife say no to the monthly payment, sir? Would she say no to the down payment? Maybe she'll say no to the equipment on the car, sir. Maybe she'll say no to the color. Maybe she wants a lighter color versus the darker color. Maybe she'll say no to what we're giving you for your trade. Or maybe, sir, she'll say no to what we're giving you for your interest rate. Okay? You want to write these down. 90% of your objections, guys, are complaints. But 90% of your complaints, what are they? Monthly payments, right? It's all about the monthly payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle monthly payment. Now, I'm going to take responsibility right now. I can tell you guys right now, I take responsibility for every outcome of my life. If I don't close a deal, it's never the customer's fault. I never play victim. It's always my fault. I take full responsibility for it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush the objection. Sir, what portion of the monthly payment would your wife say no to? What portion? If you're, if you're taking notes, write that down. That's the next part of this close. What portion of the monthly payment would your wife say no to? Well, Heath, man, I told you when I first got here, when I first drove up on the lot, man, I didn't want to be a penny over $500 a month. Man, you brought me in here for your $600 car payment, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to clean sheet of paper. So everybody needs to invest in a dollar notepad. Okay, it's a dollar notepad. Okay, I'm going to clean sheet of paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apologize to the guy right now. Sir, I apologize. Completely my fault. And you guys got to be sincere right now. The guy's like, what do you mean? Sir, had I known we were talking about $3 a day, sir, I would have handled this a long time ago. Now let's back up for a second. What's, what's easier to close them on right now, guys? $3 a day or everything else? $3 a day, right? So I'm going to reduce it to the ridiculous. The first time you showed me this, it blew my mind. Dude, it's sick, bro. It blows your, it's it sick. totally works. Yeah, it so if there's, if there's GMs, used yeah. car directors, GSMs watching this right now, I picked up an average of $1,200 per trade when I used this technique when I was actually in the business. So nobody's going to be a guinea pig by using this right here. This is sick right here. Okay? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush the objection. What portion of the monthly payment would your wife say no to? Heath, I told you, man, when I first got here, I didn't want to be a penny over $500 a month. We're at $600 a month, sir. I apologize. Completely my fault. Had I known we were talking about $3, sir, I would have handled this a long time ago. The guy's like, what do you mean? Sir, the car you're trading in has a huge, huge crack in the windshield, sir, good or bad. And you want to get them to open up right now because conversation, to actually, to, to, to actually have control, you got to communicate with the guy. You can't just have a conversation with them. Okay, so I want to actually get them engaged right now. $3 a day, sir, look, you got a huge crack in the windshield, sir, good or bad? Oh, yeah, that's bad. Sir, for $3, look, you got, for $3 a day, sir, you got four ball tires on the car, sir, good or bad? Yeah, that's bad. And they'll start to open up with you, man. You know what? Matter of fact, I was talking to my wife last week, and I said, you know what, baby? We just need to go down to the dealership, see what we can get on trade. Sir, for $3 a day, look, let me, let me ask you this, sir. Your car don't have any warranty left on your car whatsoever, good or bad. Let me show you what you're getting for $3 a day, sir. For $3 a day, you're going to get a brand new vehicle with a brand new windshield that you can actually see out of, sir, good or bad. Get them laughing right now. You ever notice they start laughing, they start closing? For $3 a day, sir, you're going to get a brand new vehicle with a full written warranty, a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. And you want to write this down right now, guys. You're probably doing a great job explaining it and talking to the customer, but you want to write it down right now. For $3 a day, sir, you're going to get a brand new car with four brand new tires on it. You don't have to worry about your wife and your kids getting an accident while you're at work trying to make a living, sir. That's it? That's it? Yeah, man. That's amazing. Sir, for $3 a day, you're going to get me. For the next three years, or as long as you own this vehicle, you can call me at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I don't care what time you call me, sir. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to handle your situation for you. I'm going to service you better than any salesperson on planet Earth. That's what you're going to get for $3 a day, sir. My wife and my kids, they're worth $3, sir. Sign right here. Let's do this. <laughs> So I'm going to teach you guys one more technique real quick, guys. And this one right here is, is the money close. This is the money technique right here. Made me a ton of money when I was not only selling cars, but when I was in management. You guys are going to love this. This is some sick, sick ninja master technique right here. It's called a three-figure ACV close. Before I roll into that, Robert, do we have anybody else calling in or comments? Perfect. So look, guys, this is called a three-figure ACV close. Use this. Write it down. Take notes. Master this technique, guys. It's going to be a game changer for you, okay? So what I'm going to do, is I encourage everybody to show at least three different numbers when you present figures on a trade. Don't show them one number. Does customers like to see options? If I tried to show them one number, I mean, is it ever good enough? I mean, the ACV could be $10,000. I showed the cat twenty-five grand. It ain't ever good enough. So what I want to do is I want to give the customer options. I don't want to just give them one number. So every time that you have a trade, present with three fig figures on it, okay? So here's how it goes. Okay, I'm going to give them three numbers. Sir, I got great news for you. My used car manager, best used car manager in the business. Now, you want to flow them some power right now. Okay, even if you don't like them, you want to, you want to flow them some power right now. Sir, my used car manager, best used car manager in the business. We're so fortunate to have him here working at our store because he always finds a way to put all the money into trades. Right now, sir, he's got 22 grand bidded on your car right now as we speak. He's still making phone calls for you, sir. He's still working hard for you. He may be able to get as much as 22.5 for your car, sir, while you're here right now. Just to let you know, sir, if you sell your car outright and you sell it on your own, you may be able to get as much as twenty-three grand for your car, sir. Why would I tell them if you sell your car outright, you might get more money? How many of you watching right now has had customers bring it up to you and say, man, I can sell it and get more money? Has that ever happened? Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is actually take the objection away from the customer and say, so he can't use it against me anymore. You remember this technique, Robert? I do, yeah. Dude, this thing is sick right here. So what I actually do is I take the objection away from him. Now he can't use it against me anymore. So what's he thinking on his trade right now? What figure? 23 grand, right? Mm -hmm. Sir, that's exactly what I would do, sir. If I could sell the car on my own for 23 grand, that's exactly what I would do. There's just a couple things, sir, I want to share with you in order for you to sell your car on your own. May I share them with you? So now I'm asking for permission. I'm not trying to shove it down his throat, okay? The guy's like, yeah, man, go ahead. Sir, the car payment you're paying right now, $500 a month. Not sure if you knew this or not, but it typically takes us about 90 days, about three months to sell a really nice car. I'm not saying it's going to take you 90 days, sir. I'm not saying your car's really nice. Get them laughing right now. <laughs> but if it takes you, sir, as long as it takes us and we're in the car business, you're paying $500 a month in car payments, sir. That means you're paying $1,500 in car payments. You want to write out car payments beside it. In car payments on a car that you don't want anymore. Is that a true statement? Because you sell with the emotion and you close with logic. I'm going to use logic in the close. Okay? What's $1,500 minus $23,000?
We got some F and I managers watching this, man. That just do it just like that. I know. But you got a video guy watching. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Go ahead. Eight hundred? No, 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 that's not right. Twenty three grand minus fifteen hundred. Yeah, I did it wrong. Twenty one fifty. Twenty one five. Twenty one five. Awesome. And I'm gonna circle that number, sir. I'm not sure if you knew this or not. What happened? Go, go. No, you're go. good. Yeah, so look, you're paying about, what, $200 a month in insurance you told me earlier? Yeah. You're paying $200 a month in insurance yeah. payment, sir. That means if, you, if, you, if it takes you as long as it takes us to sell your car, you're paying $600, sir, in insurance payments on a car that what? You don't want any more, man. You're here trading it in. It's a true statement, right? So what's twenty one five minus 600 for insurance? 20, uh, 20, 22, 9. No, 20,009, right? That's what I meant. Yeah, no worries. So are you going to advertise the car? What do you mean? So we advertise every single car that we have in inventory. That's how we're able to sell the volume that we do, and that's how we can sell the car within 90 days. I suggest spending a little bit of extra money in advertising the car so you can sell it within 90 days, or you could just do it the unsafe way. The guy's like, what do you mean, man? What's the unsafe way? You could just put it in your yard, sir, with a for sale sign on it, have complete strangers coming up to your house while your wife and kids home alone. I suggest spend a little extra money in advertising the car. Say the guy, I don't want it. Look, I never will fight the guy. You write it, you don't fight it. He's like, no, I don't want to advertise the car. No problem. I'm moving on to the next one. So I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but we, we typically spend about $1,200 on every single car for reconditioning. Every car that we take on trade, sir, we recondition the car. We put it through a 152-point inspection. We change the oil. We check all the fluids. We make sure the car's in tip, top, top flight, top of the line for you, sir. So the only time you're coming back in here to see me it's for routine maintenance and to bring me a customer. I'm already closing them on referrals right now. Okay? So what I'm going to do, sir, if you only spent half of what we spent, and we spent about 1200 bucks. So if you spent $600 on reconditioning, you want to write out recon. Now, you want to explain it to them, guys. You want to put it in writing right now while Robert's adding this up. 26. What is it? 20300 Perfect. Thank you so much. Come on, man. My man. My <laughs> man. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to validate it. I walk my trade with my customer every single time. That's going to be vital. That's going to be crucial that you walk your trade every single time. Your managers and your leaders are not telling you to walk the trade every time to punish you and to give you more work because I'm going to, I'm going to actually eat his lunch in the clothes right now. Okay? It's going to cost you a lot more than 600 bucks to recondition your car, sir, because just your tires, your windshield, your brakes, right, all your reconditioning, your, your, your vehicle not being under warranty is going to cost you a lot more than 600 bucks. Okay? But don't worry about all that because we're going to take care of it for you. Okay, so I'm at 20,003. Does that number start looking a lot better? Sir, I almost forgot. State of Florida, state of Tennessee, state of Kentucky, wherever you guys are at right now, you, you guys get a tax credit for trading for your customer trading your vehicle in. They get a tax credit, okay? There's like one or two states out in the country that don't do it, okay? But most of the states, they offer a tax savings, a tax credit for the customer actually trading their vehicle into a dealership versus selling it out right on their own. This is a big benefit. This is a huge value for the customer. So you want to use it right now in the close, and you want to save it for last to make this more of an impactful closing technique, okay? So the state of Florida, Florida they're going to pay you about 7.25% for you trading your car with me right now versus you taking the time, the money, the energy, the hassle to sell your car on your own, make your car payments for three months, sir, your insurance payments for three months, reconditioning your car, sir. In your case, that's going to be about $1,500, sir. State tax credit. What's that bring it down to? $18,800. I'm going to circle that number. Does that number start looking a lot better? I can tell you guys what one out of ten will do. A business owner, CEO, entrepreneur, somebody successful in business, they have more money than they have what? Time. Mm -hmm. Right? They're going to be like, okay, 22 grand, get me out of the box in 10 minutes. Let's roll. Let's do this. Boom, they close yourself. Because you use so much logic right here and you got so much value built in to why we get to that number. Okay? But the other nine out of ten, what are they going to tell you? Hey, man, what about the 22.5? Can you get me the 22.5? Right? So now they're actually reaching out for the 22.5. They're hungry for it, okay? So what I'm going to do is, hey, look, I'm not going to run back and forth to a manager. But what I'm going to do is, hey, sir, wish me luck. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call my manager right now. If for some reason I can get this 22.5 for you, can I earn your business right now? Yeah, man, if you could do it, I'll do it right now. I'm not going to leave the customer. I'm never going to lose control. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call my used car manager. He may not even pick up. He, may, he might be appraising the car or at lunch or whatever he's doing, okay? Hey, Mike Heath over here. Hey, man, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, they're ready to roll right now, 22.5. He said if you can get 22.5, he's ready to do the deal right now. Let's do this. Are you in at 22.5, sir? Yeah, man, I'm in at 22.5. Thank you so much, man. I'll take you to lunch. Boom, I'm going to hang up the phone. Sir, before I write this number down, I need one small favor from you. Okay, what's that? I need five names, friends, family members, coworkers, somebody at your church, somebody your kids play ball with, 
that you can give me their name and cell phone number that wants the same great deal that I'm giving you right now. He writes down five names, guys. Is he closed? Yes, right? Sir. He gives me the names, 22, 250. Sign right here, sir. Let's do this. Strong. And the guy's like, no, man, I told you 22, 5, 22, 5. I'm all in. Give me two more names, sir. All right? I'm always going to get some. I'm actually going to get referrals if I'm going to give up any discount. Now, look, real quick, I want to show you why this is so powerful right now, guys. I just closed them at 22.5. 22.5 is my number. What's my ACV? Those of you watching right now, take a guess right now before I write it down. What is my ACV? Actual cash value is 25 grand. What do I make on that deal? Now, this is going to be important if you guys are selling an advertisement unit. Maybe they come in on something on invoice. You guys don't have a lot of money to move around, um, but you still want to earn their business and make money and not give it away. You got to learn this technique right here. So awesome, awesome technique. We got any comments or anything, Robert? Uh, this guy, uh, this person just hopped on. Um, they were asking about the wife clothes again, if you could run through that. Yeah. Just asked. Um, I know there's a couple of them, but maybe the strongest one you think. Perfect. They yeah, yeah. So, yeah, spouse stall clothes. I think that's important because yeah, you guys are going to run against that all the time. You're going to hear it every single day. You guys and hear then, the same objections. And then tell them where they can find that Perfect. in the program. Yep, absolutely. So, Spouse stall clothes is what it is. Now, it's not only when the husband comes in without the wife. Same thing, guys, when the wife comes in without the husband. Now, the wife will actually buy a car now without the husband before the husband will pull the trigger without the wife. That's a true stat, okay? And the wife will really get into it. Ma'am, what if your husband says no? They'll get their head into it and everything. Excuse me? My wife, my husband will tell me no. That's my money. Ma'am, I love your attitude. Oh, my God, you remind me of my wife. Sign right here. Let's do this, right? And that's how you got to do it. That's how you got to deliver, okay? But it's really simple. Sir, what if your wife says no? Man, my wife don't tell me no. Because here's what happens. What's my real objection right now into the deal? What's my real complaint? I need to go home and talk to my wife? Or is it the monthly payment? Wife ain't even here, so it's not the monthly payment. Okay? They've talked about it. They said, hey, baby, you go find, you know what we're looking for. You go, you go down to the dealership. You do the looking. You do the shopping. You find what we're looking for. You sign your part. And then I'll come down tomorrow morning and sign my part. So they've already talked about it. Okay? So you got to figure out why are you not closing the deal right now? Where what is the barrier to the close right now? Um, what was it? What was the other one, Robert? Uh, that was it. That was the one we had. Oh yeah, yeah. So what you want to do? Since I can't show it to yeah. you. Yeah. So if you're if yeah. So if you're on the program, what you're going to do? What I want you guys to do and take away from this, if you're in the program, is obviously go through all the closing material, closing strategies, um, theory of closing, rules for closing. But go inside Quick Fix Solutions. Quick Fix Solutions are 15 to 20 second video clips of just the close, just the answer, just the solution that you're looking for. Okay, and, and, and Grant delivers them in 15 second video clips. There's no three minute training video to watch. There's no test at the end. It's just a 15, 20 second video clip of Grant delivering that particular close to get your game tight. Now you wanna watch these over and over and over and you wanna break them down and you wanna actually partner it with a buddy and you wanna role play and drill with them over and over and over again. Um, there's over 224 closes to close deals on the first pencil inside the program. Um, so it's CardoneOnDemand.com. You'll go to CardoneOnDemand.com. And um, real quick before we wrap this thing up, guys, make sure you are following me on Twitter, at Heath Powell, and also Facebook. And if you have not signed up yet for, this, for the Greatest Secret of All Time webinar, make sure you do it right now. GreatestSalesSecret.com. GreatestSalesSecret.com. Right Sign up now. Take advantage of this pre-sale deal, guys, while it lasts, $49. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a $249 product. Um, you cannot afford to miss this, I can promise you. This secret that Grant's going to share with you guys and thousands of people, tomorrow, February 18th at 2 p.m. Eastern time, it's going to change your life. It's, it's at least added hundred grand a year um, to my personal income. And again, if you sign up now, take time out of the equation. You know you're going to do it sooner or later. Save some money on it. Do it right now. And for signing up early, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get an 80-plus page ebook, $149 value at no charge, 100 Ways to Stay Motivated, MP3 audio program. It's a $199 value add for free. Not going to cost you anything. And 100 Ways to Stay Motivated, uh, follow along digital workbook. It's a $29.95 value for free. It's not going to cost you anything. So. I love all you guys. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for being on today. We're here to help. We have an entire office team, um, performance managers, support managers, um, the entire sales team, accounting team. Everybody's here. Guys, we have one mission. We have one goal, and that's to help 7.4 billion people on this planet get everything they want in life and to know who Grant Cardone is. So follow me, Heath Powell. If you don't know me by now, it's my fault. I take full responsibility for it. Love all you guys, man. Be great.